Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I want to talk about what's going on in blockchain right now. Some cool projects you need to keep your eye on, companies that are getting into the space, and kind of where I see this whole thing headed, all right? So before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and click the like button down below. And as always, if you want to learn how to become a highly paid blockchain developer, you need to join my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so what's going on in blockchain right now? Okay, so I just got back from TruffleCon, which is a blockchain developer conference. So, you know, I was there and there were lots of cool people there. Um, you know, the guys who head up the team at Truffle, also like Joseph Lubin, the co-founder of Ethereum and the CEO of Consensus, and people from other companies like Microsoft and Starbucks. It was actually at Microsoft's campus in uh, Redmond, Washington. So at TruffleCon, you know, I was able to see representation from big names like Microsoft, Starbucks, these other blockchain services like Quorum, uh, Hedera Hashgraph, et cetera, et cetera. Trail of Bits is a big auditing company. That was a lot of validation that this space is continuing to move forward, that people are putting money in it. People are building stuff. They're, pe they're hiring new people. I heard lots of people who are like trying to hire for projects at this uh, conference. So that's kind of what was going on with me lately. And I want to talk about a few projects that I've had my eye on for a while that got reintroduced at TruffleCon. People were talking about, okay. The first is a chain link. Chain link is pretty cool. So essentially what it does is it provides data from outside the blockchain to the blockchain. So if you ever try to build a blockchain app before, you know this can be a very challenging problem. But Chainlink tries to do this in a decentralized way, um, which basically means that they have a system of validators that brings data from the real world onto the blockchain so that you can use it inside of smart contracts and stuff like that. And so, you know, I've been keeping my eye on Chainlink for a while. They had some pretty big price action in the markets uh, over the past few months. You know, we saw a huge spike in price. And I think part of that is from uh, the interest that Google has shown in them, right? So uh, that's a really big deal that Google's paying attention to a project like Chainlink, okay? So Chainlink is cool. Like I said, it provides real world data to smart contracts on the blockchain, and that's gonna open up a world of possibilities for blockchain applications to utilize this data in real ways so that we're not just confined to this uh, you know, blockchain ecosystem in order to you know, have any usefulness in our apps. So Chainlink is a really cool project. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, let's see what else is going on. So another project that's really cool is this uh, Tornado Cash, right? And I've made a video of this on my channel already, so go check that out if you haven't already. But this was actually built uh, by my friend Roman. And what it does is it allows you to create private transactions on Ethereum, right? So one of the biggest problems with Ethereum right now is that everything's public. And there's really no way to, to send cryptocurrency privately, right? Until now, with something like Tornado Cash. And what it does is you use something called a mixer, all right? And what the mixer does is it acts as a proxy so that you can send Ether to that and then withdraw it from a different address or someone else can withdraw it. Um, and you won't know who the sender was, okay? So it, it's powered by something called uh, zero knowledge proofs, right? I've heard of ZK Snarks from Zcash or something like that. That's what this uses. It uses zero knowledge proofs um, to you know, know that the person who withdrawing has a proof that they were the same person uh, who deposited or have the permission of, right? So it's a pretty complex uh, cryptographic mechanism that exists inside this smart contract that allows you to do it. But it's really cool. They did a really good job. I think the UI looks really nice. The user experience is really nice. It's very self-explanatory. And I'll go in this in a little more depth. Like how this works is it uses an anonymity set. And the bigger the anonymity set, the more likely it is that your transaction is going to be untraceable and private, right? So it's pretty cool. Like the more people use this mixer, that's what it's called, a mixer. It mixes up the transactions and it makes it really hard to trace like who went in and who came out. All right. So go check out Tornado Cash. Like I said, I've got another video on that uh, if you haven't seen that already. It's a really great project. Another really cool project that I want to bring up is Compound Finance or the Compound Protocol. I'm not actually sure what the official name is, uh, but if you go to compound.finance, you can find it. So I really like this dApp. So people have been asking me like, what's a cool blockchain application that's got a real world use case right now? I've said a lot of different things. I think decentralized cryptocurrency exchanges are really cool. So here's another example of uh, a decentralized finance app. And I'm gonna talk about more about DeFi or decentralized finance in a second, but this is what this app does. It allows you to gain interest or passive income on the blockchain without having to speculate on cryptocurrency prices. And it also allows you to get uh, loans uh, by using this app. Okay, so I've created another video about this. I don't know if it's out yet, but go check that out if you haven't already to see like a step-by-step -step on how to use it. All right, so I can just like go to the app and what it allows you to do is, you know, put your tokens in this app or your Ether or whatever cryptocurrency 
and allow you to bear interest on it, okay? So you could take a stable coin like DAI, for example, right? Something that's pegged to US dollar, and you could go stake your DAI or just uh, deposit your DAI and earn interest on it. And like the interest rate changes, but like right now is around 12%. I looked at it, it was like 15% the other day. And imagine that. I mean, where else can you go and take um, stable US dollars and, and make a guaranteed like 12 to 15% return? Not many places, right? And I know a lot of people want to speculate on cryptocurrency prices and say, oh, that's nothing. I'm going to get like a million X returns by buying Bitcoin or whatever, right? So you might be right, you might be wrong, but this, what's really cool about this is it opens a door for these kinds of platforms if these really work out for the long run, um, creating a way for people to do this kind of thing. And that's what's really neat about decentralized finance is it creates a way for people to take advantage of these types of investment opportunities without any gatekeepers, right? You could just buy some cryptocurrency and go put it in this app and earn interest over time rather than having to open a stock account or something like that, you know, some sort of high yield savings and checking account, which is not going to get this kind of interest rate. And so what else does this do? It also has another side of this, which allows you to uh, take loans out. So you have to put some collateral on the app, but there's two different use cases. You can basically go long on an asset or short on an asset. So if you go long, you could buy something like 0x and put it, your 0x in the app and borrow out Ether to go buy more 0x. And if the price of 0x goes up, you can sell it back and keep the difference. And now you have more total 0x than you had in the first place. Same thing for the opposite side of the equation. If you wanted to shorten asset, um, you can make money that way too. So it allows you to do that without having any gatekeepers, right? So basically like, uh, if you want to go get a loan somewhere else, you'd have to apply or, you know, collateralize some sort of other sort of assets or get approved or something like that. Or if it's more sketchy loan, there could be some really bad downsides there too. Uh, so that's really cool. I like this app a lot, adapt a blockchain application, whatever you want to call it. I like it. And I really like this use case of decentralized finance because so much of what's going on in blockchain right now revolves around financial transactions, right? Most of the really popular use cases where people are actually doing stuff with the blockchain involves price speculation and store of value, right? And this uh, this appeals to that market and it has usage. I mean, you can see that there's like millions and millions of dollars of assets locked up into the smart contracts that power this, uh, this DAP, this blockchain application, okay? So it's really cool. And I think decentralized finance is a uh, territory that can see some good adoption pretty soon, right? And another big update on my end is that I've started a new podcast with the DevChat TV network. So they actually re reached out to me um, to kind of organize this and work with some other co-panelists. And so what we do is get on there and talk about blockchain development, right? So devchat.tv um, essentially tries to have a podcast for every type of technology and they didn't have one for blockchain yet, right? So we organized a panel of co-hosts um, to create this. And what we do is get on there every week and talk about blockchain development. Uh, it releases once a week and you can hear me and my friend Roman and my friend Bruno all talk about different topics in blockchain development. We talk about, you know, a lot of beginner topics, like how do you get started in blockchain? Um, you know, what are some of the pain points that you run into when you start trying to build on blockchain? But we also have a lot of good guests, right? So I'm finding out about cool new projects through this. I'm getting to talk to and meet a lot of cool new people inside the space. So I highly recommend checking this out. You can uh, find it on, you know, anywhere where you can listen to podcasts. You can go to devchat.tv to find it. Um, yeah, so highly recommend doing that right all right so that's about all i got for today guys go check out these applications go check out the podcast go check out the uh reviews of TruffleCon and all the wrap up and all their blog posts and stuff if you want to learn more about that conference or go to it next year okay so if y'all like this video that's sort of my two cents about what's going on in blockchain right now what i'm seeing cool stuff to keep your eye on all right so if you haven't already subscribe to the channel click the like button down below and sign up for my free training on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp all right until next time thanks for watching dapp university